President Obama today acknowledging there is what he called a vigorous debate on health care. He made those remarks at a summit with President Felipe Calderon of Mexico and Prime Minister Harper of Canada in the Mexican city of Guadalajara. One of the top issues in the summit, the global swine flu outbreak. The outbreak began in Mexico in the spring, and there are concerns that it could significantly worsen this fall. President Obama said, quote, this challenge transcends borders, and so must our response. President Obama also indicating he believes borders are less important in North America in the 21st century. The president saying, quote, North America is defined not simply by our borders, but by our bonds. To many, his remarks suggest the president wants even closer ties. Casey Wyan has our report. The meeting between leaders of the United States, Mexico, and Canada is part of the North American Security and Prosperity Partnership. It's billed as an opportunity, quote, to collaborate on shared opportunities and collectively address our common challenges. It's also controversial among those who fear it's a precursor to a European-style North American Union. The partnership's website calls that a myth. The Three Amigos' own words do suggest a desire for closer ties. We believe in a North American region that is united, that is prosperous and wealthy, that is able to build a better future for the forthcoming generations. Given the integrated nature of our economies, we did talk at some length about the importance of working together on a North American approach to climate change. Indeed, in the 21st century, North America is defined not simply by our borders, but by our bonds. Those bonds have been frayed by issues such as border security, drug trafficking, illegal immigration, human rights, and trade. Especially thorny, a dispute over a requirement under the North American Free Trade Agreement that the United States allow Mexican trucks greater access to U.S. highways. The U.S. Congress ended a pilot program to meet that obligation in March, citing safety concerns. The Mexican government retaliated by imposing $2.4 billion in tariffs on 90 U.S. products, ranging from potatoes to toothpaste to Christmas trees. That despite the fact that since Calderon took office in December 2006, the United States trade deficit with Mexico totals more than 162 billion dollars. Another dispute involves U.S. aid for Mexico's fight against drug cartels. The U.S. is withholding some of that money until Mexico demonstrates that its army is not abusing human rights. Mexico and Canada are also at odds over a Canadian decision to require visas of Mexican travelers because it says too many Mexicans are making bogus claims of political asylum in Canada. All of those disputes would seem to run counter to talk that a North American union is imminent. Lou? Casey, thank you very much. Casey, why?